what do you do if you are a, a largely landlocked country that is one of the cloudiest countries in Europe? I lived there for a year. I can tell you, second cloudiest behind England. And you need more power, but your people are not all that excited about building nuclear power plants. You don't have any oil. You want to you wanna conserve your coal resources. And uh, this is right after Chernobyl, so people are definitely not enthusiastic about nuclear power plants. What do you do? Well, Hans Joseph Fell, along with uh, uh, Hermann Scheer, a colleague of his, in the German parliament, he's a member of the Green Party in the German parliament, framed legislation to take on this issue. And energywatchgroup.org, the website, and Hans Joseph Fell, the uh, German legislator, on the line with us from Germany. Sir, welcome to the program. Yeah, I come. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, how do I d address you, by the way? Is there a title? No, I have no title. Okay. Uh, uh, tell us about the legislation. How did, how did you organize how did you organize it so that Germany could have so much solar power that you're generating, I think it's eight megawatts now, about the same as eight nuclear power plants from just putting solar panels on people's roofs? Yes, it took a long time. Before I went to the German parliament, I organized in a lot of uh, cities in Germany um, a feed-in tariff for solar power, and this was very successful. So a lot of people in the parliament and with the Social Democratic Party and the Green Party wanted to get such a law. Mm -hmm. I personally wrote the proposal of this law, and when this law came in force in 2000, and it created a huge increasing rate of renewable energies, of solar energy, of wind power, biogas, and geothermal, hydropower, and we can could get a really fast and a high increasing rate in industry process. So we had three, 30,000 jobs in 1998, and today, um, 10 years later, we have about uh, 300,000 jobs. In the, in the solar industry or in the, in the renewable energy industry, you've gone to... In the renewable years. energy completely. That, that, is, that is remarkable. We're talking with Hans-Josef Fell of the Green Party in Germany, in the German Parliament, one of the co-authors of the legislation that solarized uh, Germany. Sir, I lived in Germany back in the 80s, and I go back every year. I, and I, you know, Ten years ago, when I would take the train from, I lived in Stadtsteinach by Kumbach, you know, over in the, yeah. in the, in the Frankenwald, and I would take that train east, uh, west to east from, uh, from Frankfurt, where I'd fly in, all the way over to uh, Bayreuth, or to, to Kumbach, and uh, looking up, I would see just normal houses. Now, I was just a few months ago, I was there, and I took that train, and looking north at the southern you know, exposure of people's roofs, it seems like in some cities, a third or more of the houses are covered with solar panels now. How did you bring that about? Yes, the basic was the law I mentioned, and the second was we have a lot of people who want to um, cancel nuclear power, who want to make climate protection, protection with renewable energies, and they uh, made it for themselves. They canceled uh, the buying of electricity coming from the utilities and made the electricity by themselves on the houses. Right. And so, especially in Bavaria, we have so much uh, solar roof panels on the houses that we have more photovoltaic installed than Japan and USA together. Amazing. And you did this, my understanding is that you did this by um, guaranteeing, allow, allowing the banks to give low interest mortgages to people to put these on their roofs and guaranteeing that for the banks so it was no risk for the banks and by, and by also uh, forcing essentially the utility companies to buy electricity back for a certain period of time at a premium price so that when somebody puts a solar panel on their roof it basically doesn't cost them anything. Do I have that right? Yes, that's right. It is very important that we must uh, switch our economy to a climate protection economy and also energy security economy with renewable energies. And this is possible when the investors get a profit when the investment into renewable energies and not a profit into uh, climate polluting with uh, oil and natural gas and with coal and uh, make nuclear waste. Mm -hmm. This is problematic with the conventional energies like you see in the moment like the Gulf disasters spill disaster yes and we can uh, hope that this feed-in tariff law can come also to USA and it will bring a lot of huge investment and the people will be happy because they can make a profit with climate protection 
Well, and in, in the USA, we've got large chunks of our country that get a lot more sunlight than Germany does. I mean, I, th I, th I just find it amazing that the second cloudiest country in Europe has the most solar energy. Yes, uh, Germany has so much cloud as Alaska. And we have, in spite of this, a lot of sunshine. We could um, produce all the electricity what we need in Germany only on the roofs of the German houses. But this is not a target. We have also wind power and we have also hydro and um, um, biogas stations and others. So that we have no need to, much, uh, to, to bring the solar panels to all roofs. Yeah. But it is one part, a very important part, for a strategy to come to 100% renewable energies. At the moment, we have an increasing rate. In the last 10 years, uh, no one could imagine that it happened so fast. So we set a target in 2000 in the law that we would reach in 10 years till 2010 about um, 12% from coming from 6%. The most people told us, oh, it is not uh, realistic, it is unattainable. But we have now a 17% share wow. already, and we see it goes very fast. And when we go on with the same increasing rate what we had in the last 10 years, we could uh, serve whole Germany till 2030. 30 completely the electricity with 100% renewable electricity. Amazing. Um, Hans Joseph Fell, the, uh, along with uh, Hermann Scheer, the, the co-author of the legislation that made all this possible in Germany, or much of this possible, in the German Parliament, member of the Green Party, uh, the website energywatchgroup.org. Sir, thank you so much. Thank you very much, too. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 866-987-THOM. Absolutely amazing. And we could do it here so easy. All it takes is a little courage by our legislators.